Welcome back, everybody. This is the Amish Space Station. And today, boy, we are going to debunk Coriolis Effect. Oh, God. Let, let's just go with the, the, the standard um, Bing search for it for a second. The Coriolis Effect, it says, In physics, the Coriolis force is an inertial or fictitious force that acts on an object that is in motion within a frame of reference that rotates with respect to an inertial frame. Y you know what? Just in the definition of me reading that, the definition says that it's a fictitious force directly from Wiki. Um, let's, let's, let's read the definition for Coriolis and Bing. An effect whereby a mass moving in a rotating system experiences a force, the Coriolis force, acting perpendicular to the direction of the motion and to the axis of rotation. So people are trying to use this to actually say the Earth actually rotates. So let me debunk this really, really quickly. So that means that the Earth is moving and whatever is in the air is not move, wait, not moving with the earth is what that means. It's two planes of reference. So the clouds are moving um, separate from the earth. So why is it that when I hover my drone right outside of my window, why is why does the drone stay directly in the same spot? The helicopters, they stay in the same spot. It would be practically impossible to land an airplane on the ground if the ground was moving, um, respectively, from w east to west. And uh, uh, this is the dumbest thing I think I've I've ever heard. Um, we do not experience any rotation. We do not experience two planes of reference here on Earth. Nothing moves while you're up in the air. Coriolis debunked.